All right, so leaving the Little Rock Airport. And uh, we're gonna be rolling in a minivan to Story Conference 2017. Uh, so excited. I have wanted to be going to Story Conference for like three or four years, ever since I heard about it. So I am totally stoked about being able to go this year. Uh, we were scheduled to go ride in a SUV but uh, they didn't have one once we got here. So I don't know what the point of making reservations is if uh, they don't actually reserve something for you. But that's all right, we're family life, so we'd be rolling in a family car, right? Of course right. I don't even know, what this is a Dodge Caravan, I think. And this might be the base model or something, but I'm gonna say fail. They don't have any like phone charger ports. Like they do have these things down here to like put in a cigarette lighter charger but they don't even include one. So either fail Dodge or fail Hertz. One of the two. Fail Hertz. They're the ones that didn't get us the SUV. But here we go. We don't have to drive like no granny in a minivan. We can drive like a Dodge got power. Like we're pretending this is a Dodge Charger, not a Dodge Caravan. Drive safely, heaven can wait. Videoing while I'm driving. <laughs> Crossing into Tennessee. Okay, we made it to Nashville. World famous Moss Tacos. It is a good sign when the parking lot is full. This is going to be delicious. <laughs> All right, Marie. <laughs> your mouth is full. Kimber, give us your review of Moss Tacos. How about a 12 out of 10? Yeah? yeah. What, what are you having? Chicken tacos. Chicken tacos. Tacos for Ashley. Audrey. Muy delicioso. Muy delicioso. Good. The best pulled pork taco I've ever had. All right. Really good, really good. Okay, let me show you this place. It's pretty cool. This is a really nice hotel room. So, I mean, really nice is relative, but you know, there's a nice big bed. There's like a really nice wooden hanger closet, big shelf area, huge desk, pretty big size TV for a hotel room. Um, nice couch, artwork, it's looking great. Got dishes, microwave, all this is like really, really boring. Do you care about my hotel room in Nashville? I don't think so. Oh hey, there's a hotel with a bathroom in it. All right, day one of story, 2017. <laughs> This so reminds me of that scene from The Matrix. But I don't think there's gonna be any machine gun fire here. It would be pretty cool, but if, you know, it was all CGI and stuff. This is the thing, though. 
know, get feedback from the right people. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to, you know, my mom or my dad, and well, let's just be specific, like my mom. If I went to get feedback from my mom, she thinks everything I do is great. <laughs> so that's just, that's not gonna work. Um, I could go to my mechanic, my, the guy who fixes my car, and I could get his feedback on, on a movie I'm working on. I don't know if he's necessarily the best guy to get feedback from. He's, he's good, he's a specialist at fixing cars, but not a specialist in fixing stories. <laughs> so that's the thing. When you get feedback, you want to make sure you get feedback from people who are experienced in being storytellers. And now, what this is, is the exposition and inciting incident. That's act one. That's the beginning of your story. Progressive complications, the obstacles that the character must go through. That's the middle of the story. That's act two. And then the crisis, climax, and resolution, that's act three. That's the inciting incident. Now that you that, that, that. Oh, rested on charges of an unemployment. He was sitting in the witness stand. The judge's wife called up the district attorney. She said, free that brown-eyed man. If you want your job, you better free that brown-eyed man. Flying across the... This is the day before the main conference. We're here for a workshop uh, with Matthew Loon, Lund from Pixar. Um, but Story 17 is going to be pretty cool. Here's a sneak peek. In history 3,000 years, in fact, ever since the world began, there's been a whole lot of good women shedding tears the more a brown eyed hand. I just had a great day at the, the pre-Story 17 workshop, um, and uh, Matthew is a, was a writer for Pixar for 20 years, worked on some of their greatest films, and he broke down for us the kind of their process for developing a story, and I'm going to give you the way high overview uh, from my notes here. So first he talked about a premise, I don't know, if, can you read that right up here? Premise is an idea with a what if. He kind of explained it as the ordinary, ordinary world with a twist. Uh, has, every story has a hero or a main character, a goal, that hero has a goal. They are, they go through a lot of obstacles and then by the end of the story, they experience some kind of change, either a new way of living, a new normal, um, either internally they've changed and, and changed a way of mind or way of thinking. Um, anyhow, great thing. He showed us this, I don't know, let me let it focus there maybe. Uh, which is a story spine. He went through a bunch of different like technical names for it, but he said the easy way to think about it is once upon a time, and he state what the once upon a time is, then every day until one day, and because of that, and then because of that, and then until finally, and since that day, and then the moral of the story is, anyways, that's what great stories have. They have one, a normal, and then an excite, inciting incident, something happened. And so then because of that, the hero goes on a journey and does things. And then because of that, he does other things. And then he has to overcome this until finally the resolution comes. And then since that day, here's what the new normal looks like. Anyways, I loved it. Um, I want to get better at telling stories. Uh, that's why I'm doing this vlog because um, I realized that on, on Twitter and on Facebook and other places, I've been writing like in the little profile, I'll write, I'm a storyteller. But, and I kind of do that, um, but I want to get better at doing that. So instead of just saying I'm a storyteller, I want to start telling stories. That's why I'm doing this vlog. I hope you find it interesting. I hope um, that it, it's engaging to look at and, it, and it, it makes you feel something, whether it's inspired or uh, makes you think about something in a new way. Um, and, and because of that, I want to state it now. My goal is to post at least three times a week. I'm, I'm giving myself flexibility in that I'm not stating on certain days, um, I, but I'm, I want to, be consistent and at least posting three times a week. So here we go. I'm glad you're going to be part of this journey if you are. And um, anyways, let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to talk about, anything you want to know about me, about my family, 
about our girls, um, where we work, whatever. I would love to engage with you guys. I'd love to respond to your questions. And uh, I'm gonna do a whole nother video about this because I see YouTubers do it and maybe I'm supposed to, but like, share, subscribe. Um, it's supposed to be good for something. Um, but I don't know, I watch videos and I don't always like, share, and subscribe to those, but maybe you will, maybe you won't. Birds? They're amazing! I don't know if they're gonna poop on me or something, but they look really cool. They're like all freaking out. Awesome! Woo! And that is just gorgeous. <laughs>